And welcome back to the continuing adventures of the Naruto What If. Well, Naruto got the curse mark instead of Sasuke. Last time on the Naruto What If, I'm going to my Dragon Ball voice, we had the end of the uh, Sony, uh, Tsunade Retrieval arc. Sasuke got healed up. Naruto and him even had a fight, but it all ended up great. But danger loomed on the horizon. Orochimaru decided to task the sound for with going to the village and collecting his uh, collecting a prize. Now, unfortunately, he knows that Sasuke is probably not going to be as easy to bring over to his side this time around. He doesn't have the curse mark. He, as far as I can tell, he's, well, he's definitely got, you know, revenge on his mind. Um, it, he is closer to an, avenge, an Avenger than a Revenger. <laughs> uh, team Revenges. Um, so, yeah... <clears throat> But he does say there's an alternative. Plus, he also probably goes for the earlier... Because Naruto has the curse mark here. And he knows Sasuke isn't really all that compatible with him at this time yet. He does probably have to get a body earlier. Um, and he says, curse you, Sasuke! Curse you! Uh, but he, they do... He does say, there is a secondary prize I want in the village. Bring me the Nine Tails container, Naruto Uzumaki. He has a curse. He is the one whose curse, uh, who uh, the curse mark is placed upon. The, his in my influence is bearing upon him even as we speak. Despite how, despite how uh, thick-headed and thick-headed and dim-witted he might be, he does have the potential to be quite useful. Bring him to me either will, either willingly or by force. Um, yes, Lord Orochimaru. And so that is what they are, are doing. They're going to get Naruto. They're not going to get Sasuke. At least not at this time. If they could somehow bring Sasuke to Orochimaru, then absolutely great. Uh, we know multiple curse seals of the same type can be put on more than one per person. Because we know that's the curse seal that Anko has on her. Uh, so if they can get Sasuke to have a curse mark put on him, then great. If not, oh well. But we cut basically to them on the outskirts of the village, and Naruto kind of waking up from a dream. And the dream basically is just, uh, <laughs> at first it was a nice dream. Him, ha Sakura feeding him ramen, and they're like, oh, so good. And then a dark, sn a burning snake came and attacked them, only for a, burn a red, fiery blood fox to come and duke it out between two. And Naruto wakes up from the dream, he's like, ah, obviously, well, obviously to, uh, saying how the curse mark is still trying to influence him and how the fox is like no 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 someone actually brought up a good point in the comments how uh, <clears throat> uh one of the reasons that Nar the the fox would be attacking the curse mark is that he doesn't want renard to, to rely on anyone else's but its power so i mean and but again i like the idea that because the evil sealing method is placed around the curse mark it's like a barrier in his mind so it's harder for the fox to break down the curse mark. He can still do it. It just takes a lot more effort on his part. And it's harder when you hit, don't, can't use a lot of your chakra. Even by the nine tail standards. Even one tail is a huge amount. But still he can't use a huge amount of his chakra at the moment. Uh, another thing uh, I did want to bring up uh, real quick. Now that I'm remembering comments. Is someone said they thought Jiraiya would be furious. And go on a rage and hunt down Orochimaru. I was like no. I mean Yes. He would not be happy that Orochimaru put a curse mark on Naruto. But to say that he'd be furious and hunt the snake down? No. He already struggled trying to find Orochimaru. And he still can't find Orochimaru because he keeps moving around. I don't see that happening. Jiraiya would not be happy. And maybe that could get brought up. And maybe be a lot more tougher on Orochimaru in the three-raid deadlock fight. But I don't see anything ultimately changing from that. Regardless, Naruto wakes up. He's in a cold sweat. He kind of just puts him on her face. He's like, I can't get back to sleep now. I think going for a walk will be good for me. So he goes out, goes for a walk, just kind of enjoying the night and sitting on, sitting on like a rooftop. Or I can even see him going to, at least in the fanfics, um, <clears throat> uh, at least in the fanfics, uh, he likes to sit on the Okage, uh, like the fourth Okage's head on the monument. Um, so... Uh, so he could be sitting there just enjoying the moon, just like, huh, maybe he's got a beverage, like a cup of tea or something, just like, huh, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, what a nice evening. We, I have to agree, it's a nice night, isn't it, Naruto? It's like, huh? Who the heck are you guys? I didn't even sense these guys coming. It's like, uh, we, 
we had come to extend courtesy uh, of one Lord Orochimaru. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, of, of one Lord Orochimaru. He's requested your presence, Naruto. We, we ask that you come with us peacefully and willingly. Uh, otherwise, it could be... Other, otherwise, things could... We'll have to take you by... Uh, then Taiyu just says, otherwise, we'll have to take you by force. Taiyu, yeah, don't be rude. If we can get him to come willingly, that's better for us. Take me by force. You see, Lord Orochimaru has bestowed upon you a great gift. One that was designed for someone else. Yeah, one is done to someone else, but somehow you were lucky fortunate enough to get it. You are very lucky indeed, Naruto. Your gift's even stronger than our gifts, if you know how to use it properly. Gift, you mean this damn curse curse mark, don't you? The one that was meant for Sasuke. Oh, he's, uh, so the, uh, uh, and like, so Jiro, other ones, Jiro was like, oh, the kid's not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> Sockens, but then again, that's not, that'd be almost impossible. Um, so... Um, the, so, uh, so we want, we want to offer you a welcome, he wants to help you gain power, after all, the Biokage, you have to be the strongest ninja, Naruto, and Orochimaru can offer that to you. Uh, so come on, what do you say? Uh, again, Kitamaro being the most, you know, um, diplo diplomatic among them, is like, I say, but he's also using his multiple arms, he also is doing probably like a hand sign trigger, it's like, the moment he, if he, if he's not going to, um, Go with us willingly the moment it happens. Let us know. Uh, or uh, <clears throat> not let us know, but um, and, you, know, you know what to do. It's like, I'll get, it's like, I'll tell you what I say. Shadow Clone Jutsu! And like a dozen, or like half a dozen, or more than a dozen Naruto's just show up. It's like, oh, hey, we, we were warned you could use a Shadow Clone Jutsu, but to use it to this extent, I gotta admit, that's a little frightening. K Kimi, uh, Kitamaru just like tosses out a, uh, it, or spits out some of his. Metal webbing, I guess. That, yeah, it is metal. It's metal and it's webbing, so it's metal webbing. You forget how interesting some of the some of the early Naruto series characters were. Just when they kind of start going into you know combat, and Naruto's like, I gotta get, I gotta get to the Simambu or someone to get uh, to um, to help me out, and you know they're all taking care of the Naruto clones pretty quickly without too much difficulty. And it's tight as a, you dumbass, it, you dumbass, it, he's get, it's a diversion, he's getting away. It's like, ah, we're on him. And the, you, where do you think you're going, Naruto? This, we were just having, a, starting to have a nice conversation. Crap. Naruto then just, yeah, you know, brings out a clone, just, uh, uh, brings out a clone, gets a kunai with a spell, uh, with a explosive tag on it. And, um, get, has a saying on it, it's like, huh? It's like, no, we can't, uh, stop him, quick, we can't let him make a noise, otherwise they all will show up. It's like, uh, gosh, and all of a sudden, a hand's behind him, as, uh, and I'm trying to think who would be the fastest in this case, we know it's not Jirobo, Taiyu is not a physical fighter, it might be either Sokka slash Ukon or Kitamaro in this case, and they just, mm, all of a sudden, a uh, hand is around Naruto's mouth, it's like, mm, now, sw uh, now swallow, kid. And all of a sudden, what was that? And Naruto suddenly just doubles over to the fox all of a sudden. And Naruto, not only is the curse mark chakra starting to really kind of pour off him, and he's crying in pain, but the fox's chakra started to crawl off because the fox is like, hey, what is going on? No. Like, he suddenly has to go into overtime to like try to like, because uh, I don't think Karama is constantly trying to take on, uh, take out the curse mark, even though he's got near infinite chakra by our standards. I think he does take breaks just to, you know, sleep and mind his own business, but um, when, like, the seal is, like, down and the curse mark activates, he's got easier access to it, and in the moments like this, where obviously you'll know what I did, what happened in just a second, uh, this is another moment where it's like, oh, god. Unfortunately, I would argue, we know that, sec uh, that the first uh, tale, or the first level curse mark was at least able to at least equal to a tailless naruto with fox chakra the second level curse mark with sasuke was roughly equal to a one tail of the of the nine tails roughly that naruto was accessing so uh karama would be having to pull out all stops here just to keep the damn thing in check uh and now what exactly did i just do here well because they um um, I think it was Kitamaru, because he got the extra hand, so he grabs the kunai as it falls and Naruto's chakra dissipates. What Kitamaru basically did is have one of the special pills, you know, that forcibly activates the second uh, form of the curse mark, but we know it could kill someone. 
And what he did was just, because he knew Naruto would, sorry, I thought I saw a bug. Uh, and he knew Naruto, the minute he saw that, he knew Naruto was going to make some sort of noise, either the Rasengan or blowing up an explosive attack and alert the Ambu. And they can't have that happen. So he forced them on him to basically knock him out. It's like, all right. It's like, if, if, as a, uh, Kudamar, what did you do, man? It's like, well, there was no other choice. He was going to, it would alert the Ambu. Now seal him up quick. Otherwise, otherwise he's going to drop dead. Um, and all right, fine. This are 30. We're not prepared. Just do it. And they have to get in formation real quick. This could just attract the Ambu as well. Better this, than, better this than the kid. And then they basically have to put Naruto in the, um, in the container really freaking quick now naruto probably would last longer outside of the container than sasuke would have um and this is probably due to just the fact that the fox is there to help offset some of this and he's an uzumaki he's got great stamina but yeah they take naruto and they rush uh, basically seal him up all right we gotta get out of here all of a sudden they hear the whistling of ambu it's like, it's like oh, crap we gotta get going and basically the hokage is waking up so now he's woken up as they're heading out there and obviously they'll still run into uh what was it rido rando um basically the um the jonin that they ran into previously and yeah she's like this is not good naruto has been kidnapped uh, now, now this is a two for problem hey it's naruto it, he's a respected respected among his peers despite his wacky nature he's a good person and you know he tries hard but he's also the nine-tailed jinchuriki a jinchuriki getting captured that not good. Unfortunately, too, they we know they did not because if they had the access of the troops available to send someone like Kakashi, we knew Kakashi was out at the time to send Kakashi or Azuma, a Kurenai guy, anyone, um, they would have done it uh, because that was a high priority thing as well. Unfortunately, what you have here is you don't have a good uh, team. Regardless, you're pretty much getting the Sasuke retrieval team, but now it's the Naruto retrieval team, and Sasuke is the one who is going to be put on the team. They only, on the, as we know, they only have an hour to pick the team out. Sasuke gets put on the team as opposed to Naruto, and now that being said, the, uh, the word that Naruto gets kidnapped, the question is, because I could throw Hinata on the team, and that would actually make logical sense, because, you know, she is Naruto's stalker and uh and no, nothing changing in the scenario to not mean she's not going to be his love interest in the at the end of the series but um but she's not, not uh she's not a stalker but she cares a lot she is a stalker yes but let's be careful she's not an evil person she she just cares a lot and she's a little girl she's a teen somebody couldn't do um but there's an argument like work to get out fast that she she might want to go on that mission now, Neji's going to go, obviously, as well, because they get in touch with Neji. Neji probably lets them know what happened. And as Neji, as, um, you know, they show up near the gates of the village, Sasuke, Kiba, um, Choji, Neji's there. And then Hinata shows up as well. I'd like to go to, uh, or at the very least, she offers to go. Because let's be honest, Sakura, the only the reason Sakura didn't go for the Sasuke or because she knew she wasn't going to be able to stop him. She tried and she failed. She, and that's why she begged Naruto to do it. Uh, but that said, Hinata actually does have more capability than Sakura does, at least in part one she does. Uh, and honestly, there's a good, see people, I've seen videos saying how strong Sakura is, and Sakura, let's be very clear, this, my bashing of Sakura, especially in part two, does not come from her lack of ability. She finally actually was able to gain some legitimate strength in part two. Uh, my, my, my bashing of her comes from still as a character. Um... Hinata, though, arguably could still beat Sakura in a fight. She just has to close up chakra points, and Sakura can't use her explosive strength or healing techniques. So, really, it's uh, it's very feasible that Hinata could still beat Sakura outright in a fight in Part 2. Uh, we Honestly, she could definitely kick her ass in Part 1. Uh, Sakura might be a little bit more intelligent and have a bit more confidence in herself, but Hinata generally speaking, would win that fight, I think, nine times out of ten. Regardless, I think she offers as well. And and remember, I believe it's, what is it, Neji's is better for pinpoint, I think they do explain it, Neji's was a better uh, Byakuan for pinpoint accuracy, but Hinata actually had a better range. And I think Neji, who has been, been trying to be better towards his family, Hinata, 
would actually suggest this and actually bring this like um, I have a better pinpoint I have better pinpoint accuracy but her range as far uh, does exceed mine we you would have a you would have the best of both worlds on this team mm -hmm. five men five men are usually the best balance but we'll probably need all the help we can get all right Hinata you you'll, you can come along uh I'll do my best and so you get the Sasuke you get the Naruto retrieval now Remember, Shikamaru did have a specific lineup for them, which really wouldn't matter in this case. Um, so, I, if I'm remembering correctly, and I, I am trying to remember correctly, I believe the order was... I could probably look it up. Uh, though, I don't know how I'd look it up without going to the episode. Let me see here. Uh, Shikamaru. Uh, I'll try looking up Shikamaru first. Uh, Shika... Shika, Shika! Like, sh Shika, you! <laughs> Shikamaru... Shikamaru's partner Pokemon is Shikachu, a lazy Pikachu who could somehow manipulate shadows as the ghost typing. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Mizuki tracking. Uh, training exam. Kona crush. Nope. I. Where is that? What was it? Was the Sasuke recovery mission? Okay. Uh, what was the order? Uh, after leaving Sound Four, leaving the village recovery team. Uh, uh no. It, it doesn't say the order in which the team. It's not going to matter too much. What I'll say, though, is that while Sh I believe Sh Kiba was first because of his nose, Shikamaru's second to give out orders, uh, Naruto middle because of his uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu, Dago needs to go outside. He's in poop poops. Uh, but um, Naruto, then Choji, and then Neji. So what I think the big difference will ultimately be is that Hinata will actually be in front of Shikamaru, Technically, she should be up front, but Kiba's nose will actually uh, key them in. Uh, Kiba's tracking nose is better than uh, the Biak gun, at least for picking up scent and leading in the direction. Then Hinata, having range, can keep um, can keep them um, uh, notified if they hear see any chakra signatures. And Sasuke, I think, would still stay in the middle, but uh, just just because I can't think of a good spot for Sasuke. But anyway, so, you know, Sasuke, uh, Sasuke, uh, only after recently finding out Naruto's, like, curse is burden and all that, it's like, you know, I, is, uh, they're not taking, they, they wanted to come after me, because the, uh, the Rochimaru wanted to put the curse mark on me. I was a real target, but Naruto, Naruto had separate, I'm not letting them take my friend, let's do this. Uh, and so, Sasuke goes, because I am an Avenger, not a Revenger. I don't go for, I am here to avenge, and I'm going to get my friend back. And so, they're off. Obviously, you had the Jirobo thing first. Now, the Jirobo fight still, I think, goes down to Choji. That's fine. Then you had the sound. For now, honestly, Hinata, I think Hinata and Neji maybe stay back. Or Neji tells Hinata, don't worry, you still have Hinata on your side. It's like, but, but, but brother, is like, it's fine, and, and Hinata, I'll catch up. Don't go, don't worry. I think, in fact, I think it's probably better that Neji do this on his own, because their techniques probably could clash if they're in close proximity. So then that's, <clears throat> that's that. Uh, Kimimaro eventually shows up and takes Naruto away. It's like, and takes Naruto away. And it's Sasuke and surprisingly Hinata who go after, who after him. It's like, wait, no, it's like, where are you going? Shut up, possession jutsu. And Kiba obviously is clashing with Sakon and Ukon. Uh, and he has to deal with Taiya. So Hinata and Sasuke, weirdly enough, are the ones chasing after Naruto, uh, Naruto and Kimimaro. It's like, Hinata, can you see what my shotgun can't, uh, doesn't have a, the piercing your Byakugan eyes. What do you see there? I see Naruto, but it's chakra. It's, there's something going on with it. I was like, eh. And it's like, yeah. The, the, and Naruto, and he basically has to explain that, um, yeah, when we were in the forest of death, Naruto did something. He put a curse and it did something to Naruto. He put something, uh, put something, a curse mark on him. A curse mark? Yeah, it's and it's it's powerful, but it's evil. Uh, and and uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, but it looks like they're trying to force upon him. Uh, from what he explains, it just kind of corrupts your soul a, bit, a little bit. It's like no, Naruto. Don't worry, Naruto's tough. Uh, uh, Naruto's tough. He's uh, and Sasuke's also not an idiot. He probably knows how much Hinata probably likes he, <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, um, don't worry. The lughead—he's a lughead to be sure, but he's—but he's too much, too stubborn and good of a guy to be persuaded by that snake. Uh, and uh, and and he not, uh, by the way, Hinata. It's like, huh? Uh, you should really speak up a bit more often. I can I can tell it. 
We have, we all know you, you have a thing for Naruto, to which she blushes intensely. Luckily, she knows she's focusing on the mission. When this is over, you should maybe try to talk to him about it. Uh, after all, we're, we're ninja. And Sasuke actually, I think, has a better grasp on this concept than a lot because he's lost so much. It's like, we're ninja. We live every day. We live every day. Sometimes we have easy missions and some days we may die. It's 50 50. It's coin flip a lot of time. She can't waste time being, it can't be waste time being afraid, of, uh, afraid. Be with the people you love, care about them as long as you can. Uh, believe me, uh, you, don't, you never know when they're going to disappear. And his eyes go a little dark, but he's also got anger on his, his face too. Cause like Naruto's someone who's precious to him as well. That's his best friend. <clears throat> Despite the attitude they might have towards each other, it's a friend, it's a rivalry. It's a friendship. And like, this is the closest thing he's actually had to a brother since Itachi left. And he's not going to give that up without a fight. And Hinata just sees that look on Sasuke, uh, sees the look on Sasuke's face. And Sasuke actually gives her a legitimate, like, smile, something he doesn't you normally do, a legitimate smile. like, yep, you know, I cherish every moment you get, Hinata. And Hinata just kind of blushes about this. Not because she's like, Sasuke is so cool and handsome, but it's like, about the her feelings. Like, and she just kind of has this look of, <clears throat> um, and, but, but, and Hinata and all of a sudden gets actually serious, like, First things first, no stuttering, whatever. Like, confidence that we're rescuing my boy. We're rescuing my man. Uh, we're rescuing him. It's like, we got to get Naruto back. Right. And then Kimimaro obviously is there in the middle of the field. Uh, and Hinata and Sasuke suddenly stop and say, uh, So, it was you, Sasuke? You are the one Orochimaru truly wanted. The Nine Tail. The Nine Tails was just a, se was just a, uh, pr a secondary prize, but a nice one indeed. I'll t um, if you come with, if you come with us, uh, uh, Sasuke, I'll even spare this. No, you, you would be a much more deserving prize for Lord Orochimaru. What, what does that bastard want with me? Simply put, he wants you as his new vessel. Unfortunately, the, the damage the third Hokage did it was, uh, it was too great. So I'll have to wait a few years. But until then, you, uh, he can help you get your revenge. Help you grow stronger, Sasuke. It's all you'd have to do is join me. I'll even surrender the fox to you. And and not, Hinata's hearing this, and she is registering. Wait, Fox? She doesn't know, but you seem to, don't you, Sasuke? The boy, he is the Jinchuriki of the nine-tailed fox. To which Hinata hears that, and her eyes widen a little bit, and she thinks about it, and she thinks about how oh, she knows Naruto's been treated, and she realizes that explains everything. And she just looks at him and is like, uh, it's like, I don't care what he is, he's still Naruto, and I'm not going to let you hurt him. He's like, indeed. Mm -hmm. Interesting girl, do you perhaps have feelings for this boy? So, what? <laughs> That's gonna say, after all, he is he is a ginger. He is a mon he's just a, a vessel to conceal a monster. For someone to for someone to not care, you must have you must have a strong connection to the boy, don't you? So there was no, Sasuke finally just throws out a shirt again. Shut up! Enough talk! Give him back! Is it? I see. So he will not come willingly as he just pulls out his bone sword from his body. Just. <laughs> Uh, what the and they're both like what in the yeah that you are not the only one blessed with a kekagen kai this is what this is known as the dead bone pulse i don't actually remember the japanese name of it uh because kekagen kai because kekagen kai is just bloodline trait um uh but in in um or bloodline uh is your bloodline uh trait or bloodline dude something like that but um uh kimimaru what is the dead bone pulse called in Japanese. Hold on, because uh, the shining gun is still shining gun regardless. Or that, though that translates to pinwheel eye. Uh, let me see here. Come on, come on, can't find. Uh, give me. Okay, it's. Oh God, it's Shikotsumi Yaku. Dead bone pulse. I prefer better. Um, it's easier to say too. Uh, this we are capable of using our bone uh, bones for many uh, many creative purposes. Obviously, he's got spice on. Like, and Hinata and Satsuki suddenly get in the face and say, "This is not going to be as easy as I thought." And Pyakuvan, I can see his chakra points, but he, and there's something else, more chakra layering his entire body. The, yeah, you're a Hugo, correct, young girl? Um, yeah, you're a Hugo. You will not be able to get through my chakra points so long as my body. Body is covered in uh, my bone. It's a, and she not, you know, he's able to avoid strike, and she kind of cracks a bone a little bit, but it's like it hurts her finger because we know his bones can get as hard as metal. So it's, and she's like, he's right. I can't get through his. I can't get through that dermal armor. His chakra points are protected. Um, there's nothing you can do. All of a sudden, fire style, fire bomb jutsu. 
uh, if you think I can, and he hands off something to he nodded too. I could, I could see this scenario happening where they're team working together. This is a scenario, by the way, I'm going to go like to 30 minutes this episode. Cause I like this fight idea that I don't think we've ever really considered. Even with the, uh, he not on team seven video Sasuke and he not a fighting do- a side by side. Um, and yeah, he hands something off using a smoke bomb. This guy's, you won't be able to hide from me. Uh, and say, no, you won't be able to hide from me. And all of a sudden, she just gets Pooh! skewered by the bone, but only for it to face. There's like a clone jutsu. All of a sudden, Ninja Wire comes out. It's like, is that the best you can do, Sasuke? And all of a sudden, he sees, it's not Sasuke. It's like, what? It's like, and a gentle fist. Just like Neji did, she actually grabbed him with, ch- that's what uh, Sasuke handed off to her is ninja wire then the wire is basically going up the um going up the wire and it does hit him now he's still got his chakra armor on and re- the only reason neji's hit hurt as bad as it did is because um <laughs> it hit the back of his throat here though it's still he still feels it and it still hurts like pain is irrelevant my time is short on this earth do you think something like this will be able to stop me as the bones start to kind of appear and break the wire no all i needed to do was distract you Distract, all of a sudden he hears the chirping burst. Shitani! And <laughs> it just goes right through him. Just right through him. Just like it did with Naruto. Only it's just like, Ugh! one more, just one more shot. And you're a dead man. All of a sudden, spikes come out. He gets, he doesn't get skewered, but he does get sad. It's like, Ugh! Sasuke, I'm okay. It's uh, like, Ugh! I underestimated you, Sasuke Ushio. You really w- I can see now why Lord Orochimaru covets your body, uh, shot and gun so, shot and covets your body so badly. If only I could have been so blessed. As he, his body actually starts to recover because a lot of that dead bone pulse gives him a surprisingly advanced healing ability. Um, because it's, it, he, in the manga, it's actually a lot more devastating. Um, but uh, it, even so, the fact that he can rip bones out of his body and they just kind of heal up gives him obviously a very. Uh, uh, very powerful healing capability. Um, one second. I'm actually just reading up about it, on, on it right now. I could use them now. He merged them. Uh, stated that it was the ultimate Taijutsu ability, which held a higher guard. The main reason why he wanted to be his next vessel. But yeah, I mean, we. It, it's odd. I mean, there's still in the manga. There's still blood and stuff, but he can clearly recover very quickly. And now he's activating his curse mark. Let me show you the power you could have had, Sasuke Uchiha. As he just decides to go straight into Curse Mark version 2. Uh, like, because he needs to heal that shit up. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, not good. Uh, fire stuff! Fire Dragon Jutsu! All of a sudden, Kim Mar's there. Uh, Kim Mar's there. Dragon Jutsu! And Kim Mar just... <laughs> uh, Sasuke! Uh, it's, uh, and Sasuke's like... <sighs> Did, uh, did I get him? No, it's, there's something, and all of a sudden, they see the giant chakra lance a bit wider, it's like, I think you were able to burn even the bone in my cursed second form, <laughs> he starts coming up, <clears throat> oh, that is impressive, but, no, but you, have, but this is where it ends, perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll take your body to Orochi, both your bodies to Orochi Maro. He would he, he would come in a Bayakugan almost as well as a Sharingan, I know, I can see this. All of a sudden, they sense on um, they sense something, and as did it happen in the original fight, they because they're now they're like, okay, what are we gonna do now? I got one more Chidori, two if I want to just completely be done. I'd have to basically hit him straight through the chest or the head. That's it. And he not he not can't really do much unfortunately because this guy's ability kind of negates the Biaka and digital fish. But they sense the charge. All of a sudden, that tub explodes, and they see the form the silhouette in the uh in the cha- in the smoke and there they see this tail and i am changing up the design of second form naruto a little bit because in the original i believe uh, a religion um in the naruto going over the roshi marwan i believe i gave him the curse mark of heaven which could translate form wise into kind of a nine tails looking thing because it's very dinosaur looking um yeah, I even got, hold on, I got a picture of it right here, hold on, uh, <clears throat> it's, um, let's see, is it right here, uh, boop. yeah, it's very dinosaur looking, Kimimaro's form, uh, so, yeah, it was, I actually, I liked it better than the, uh, Sasuke's, to be honest, the wing hands were just weird, 
Uh, but more importantly, Naruto's there. And I still think they, it, something's happened. Is uh, Something's happened that's different with this. And I'll explain that in part uh, four when we get to that, which will happen on Monday because next week's the week of what if. Uh, but Naruto's there and she's like, <clears throat> and they sense, they see the child. And Chakra starts to recede a little bit. And you'd think he goes back into his face form like Sasuke does. But because the fox has been influencing this whole, uh, this thing the entire time, it is very dip. It, it, the form looks different. And they just see these glowing red, red eyes. Actually, it goes from, <clears throat> it's red and yellow, so it actually be glowing orange eyes. Because in Nar with the fox, it's red. But with the curse mark, it's orange or yellow. So those two actually make a red or an orange. So these glowing orange slit eyes staring out from the smoke. And Sasuke and Hinata are just like, Naruto? Naruto? So, it, my word, it seems, it seems the time has come. Now you'll see the true power of the uh, power of the curse mark. And that is where part three is going to end. It went a bit longer and I did kind of stumble a little bit. That's because, again, I... Uh, one thing I should, I, I still haven't gotten around to doing that. One thing I really should do is in order to write dialogue out. The story is one thing. The story, I can know where that's going. But the dialogue is something I need to really kind of work on a bit. <laughs> Not because I don't know what dialogue I want to say. It's just at the time, I kind of do the dialogue off the top of my head. Knowing where I'm going with it, but not re remembering uh, how I want the conversation to go. Anyway, I think So, that is part three. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you for the next one next week. Till then, see you later.